Have you ever wondered what happens to the sperms after cream pie during pregnancy? It's a query that crosses many minds, sparking curiosity and concern. We'll be diving into this topic, addressing common misconceptions like the possibility of double pregnancy or harm to the mother. While it may seem like a simple question, the answer is quite complex and fascinating. To understand what happens, we first need to understand the female reproductive system and the process of pregnancy. Let's break it down. Our journey begins with ovulation, when an ovary releases an egg into the fallopian tube. If sperm is present, it may fertilize the egg and bingo. We have the start of a pregnancy. But here's where things get interesting. After the egg is fertilized, a barrier forms around it, known as the fertilization membrane. This barrier is like the ultimate bouncer at the club, not letting any more sperm in. It's nature's way of saying, thanks, we're good here. So, what happens if sperm is introduced during pregnancy? Well, with the fertilization membrane in place and no egg to fertilize, the sperm essentially hits a dead end. It has nowhere to go. Over time, it's naturally expelled from the body, much like other substances the body doesn't need. In other words, the sperm becomes a bit like a guest who arrived too late to the party. The festivities have already started and there's no more room inside. So in short, the sperm has no role to play in pregnancy after conception has already occurred. Now, let's debunk some common misconceptions. Double pregnancy is impossible. Cream pie during pregnancy isn't harmful. So there you have it. A clear and concise explanation of what happens to the sperm after cream pie during pregnancy.